Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the set command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually set stands for stream editor. It's a very powerful command that you can use in order to perform a lot of actions on a file like for example finding deleting replacing and so many others things into a file so in order to work with this command i have here a sample file on my desktop so i will show you so the name of the file is set.txt so it does just a simple text file that we will be using in order to show you the many functions that this command can perform so as you can see here the file contains just four lines unix is great os unix is open source unix is free os learn operating system unix linux which one you choose Unix is easy to learn. Unix is multi-user OS. Okay, so we'll start by using some very simple things using the set command. So the first thing that I'm gonna use is actually replacing. So let's say that we want to change, for example, every occurrence of the word Unix by Linux so in order to perform that it's really easy we type our set command and between quotes we can put the s slash so the first thing that we want to change in this case is Unix and another slash and the word we want to be in our text which is Linux and another slash and finally a J command so the first S stands for substitute and the last G is for global so here this commands will allows us to change every occurrence of the word Unix to Linux okay and of course we have to provide our file name so here the file name is actually set.txt so let's say that here we go so now you can see every occurrence of the word unix has been changed to linux okay so linux is great os linux is open source linux is free os so as you can see here in the first line but here you have to make in mind that we didn't actually save our file it just gave us actually the output in our console here so if you want to make these changes permanent I will show you later how you can do that but now we'll just keep providing the file name at the end of every command and see the result directly into our console okay or terminal so I will start once again another example but first let me clear that and let me display the file so you can see the changes live okay so in this same example here for example if you see the word open source okay and let's for example change the word open to closed for example so I'll be using the same command as before but here I will change the word open to actually closed so what we gonna make here so here even this word open source is single word but inside it there is the word open so this set command will change it so let's see that so as you can see here even we have a single word it has changed it from open source to closed source but 
let's say you don't want to do that you want to change the exact match of the word so if you want to change the exact match of the word you have to do something else okay so in our previous example whenever it finds the word open it will change it but if you want to change the exact match of that word you have to provide another actually syntax so in order to do that i'll be using the same command but here just before the word open i will add anti slash b okay and i will end it by anti slash b so now here i'm telling set to change the word but the exact match of the word open to close okay and the b stands for boundaries actually so if i'm gonna execute this command once again in this case it will not change the word open source to close source because simply open uh, doesn't exist only in that file it exists but it's attached to another uh, actually keyword okay so if i execute the same command here you can see we still have the open source that has not been changed because we provide the boundaries for the open so if there is something here in our file that that actually match only open and all open alone it will be changed but in this case it will not be changed okay let me clear that and go for another example but first as always i'm gonna display the example so you can see the changes that happen okay so let's say for example that you want to change any line that begins with a defined word so for example here in our example you can see unix the first line here begins with the word unix and the third and fourth also begins with the word unix so let's say that you want to change every line that begins with a word to another word okay so in this case i will add here to our syntax another things so i'll be keeping here but here just before the word unix so for example let me change the word unix to linux okay but i want to change only the line that begins with the word unix so here just before unix i have to add a special character called caret okay here we go so this is our command here so this command tells said to change any lines that begins with the word unix to linux so let's see the result now here we go so you can see that unix has been changed to linux but only if the line begins with the word unix okay so here for example the unix word inside which is not at the beginning but it is inside a line it has not been changed okay so i hope this is clear also for you let me clear that okay so now let's do something else let's say that we want to change any line but this time that ends with the word for example os as you can see here we have two lines the first line and the fourth line they all ends with the word os so let's say that we want to change actually that word os to another thing for example operating system or just a system for example if you want so let's 
do the same here so I will use this command here so I want to change the word OS by the word system but here I want only the lines that ends with the word OS so here at the OS I will add here a dollar sign that indicates that actually end of the line okay so here we go so let's see if that works actually it did not work <laughs> because we still have here OS that has not been changed to system so maybe I did a mistake let me see that did you find actually the answer here so why it did not work well simply because actually our line doesn't end with OS it ends with OS and a dot so that's what I forget so here in our first string that we want to change we have to add a dot because here the first line and fourth line ends with OS dot okay so keep attention to that here we go and now it's working because we have changed every occurrence of the word OS dot to system okay if you want to change that to OS or system dot we'll get the result that we want okay so keep that in mind so sometimes it can lead to some errors okay so I hope I was clear on that point so let me clear that and go to another example So let's say for example that you want to delete the whole line that contains a word. So for example, let me delete all the lines that contains the word Unix. So as you can see here, three lines will be deleted because only the second line doesn't contain the word Unix. So in order to do that, I would use the same command here, but with some changes so I will not use the S for substitute I will just use here the word Unix and here at the end I will use the T so here this command tells set to delete any line that contains the words Unix okay so let's see the result and make sure it works here we go we have our result we have only the second line that doesn't contain the word unix okay let me clear that and return back to our example so as i told you all the thing that we have done doesn't change actually our actual file it just displays the result that we want but if you want to make the changes permanent for example when you execute this command here uh, to change every word unix to linux what happened here it changes that so you can see the result but our file is still intact so if you want to make the changes permanent it's pretty easy all you have to do is to add minus i here just after the set command okay so here the modification are directly written to a file so let's confirm that here we go so now let me clear that and cut our file and see if really the word unix has been changed to linux and you are right now the changes has been made permanent to our file so keep also that in mind 
if you want to make the changes or the modification directly to your file, you must add the option minus I just after the command set. So that was just a brief introduction how you can use this powerful Unix set command. Normally it's used also with oak command and in one of my previous video I showed you also how you can use awk command okay so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye